How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today we're gonna talk about this. What should you do if you forget your screen time passcode? Maybe you wanna change it to a new code, you wanna keep using a screen time passcode, but you forgot your current one, or maybe you wanna turn it off altogether, get rid of your screen time passcode. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you should do step by step for any scenario possible, including if you have tried it so many times and you get one of those messages with failed attempts. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you how to reset your forgotten screen time passcode for your personal device, or if you have a family setup and you wanna reset it for a child, for example. I'm gonna cover everything in this video Let's get started. Okay guys, so of course, open up your settings, scroll down, go to screen time, and then scroll a bit down until you get to change screen time passcode. And then of course, you're gonna choose right here whether you wanna still keep using a passcode, but you wanna reset the old one and create a new one, or if you wanna turn it off altogether, but the process is exactly the same, okay? So let's go for change screen time passcode. And you may have one of those messages, but don't worry about that, because what we're gonna do is actually tap here on forgot passcode. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, Daniel, I don't have that. It's completely blank on my iPhone. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna deal with the situation if you don't have anything. So stick around, stay in the video. As I said, I'm gonna show you for every single scenario possible, okay? So let's move on with the most common option, which is when you do have forgot passcode. So tap on it. And then right here, all you have to do is simply type in your Apple account, email, and password. Just like that, the Apple account that you're using on your iPhone. So go ahead and type it in. Of course, it's also called Apple ID. It's the exact same thing. It's your iCloud account login information. And then tap on continue, let it load, let it do its thing. And then as you can see, it's gone. The old passcode is gone. And now it's asking us to create a new one. I'm gonna go for one, two, three, four, five. But of course I do not recommend that you do so. I'm just doing it to make this video easier and faster. So as you can see, we're done, we have removed the old one and we have successfully created a new screen time passcode. Now, let's talk about the exceptions when the normal process doesn't work. So let's go again to change screen time passcode, go again right here to change screen time passcode. And before I talk about when you don't have this option, I have to talk about another exception, which is when you do have the option, you do have it like you have it on mine, you tap on it, but then when you type in your credentials, when you type in your Apple account information, it doesn't work. It says wrong passcode, unable to reset screen time passcode. So sometimes even though you're typing the right email, the right password of your Apple account that's signed into your iPhone, even so, sometimes it won't work. And that's simply because the Apple account information that you have to type it in has to be the same Apple account information you used when you first created the screen time passcode. So let's imagine an example that you created this screen time passcode that you don't remember, right, a year ago. And back then, you were using one Apple account information, okay? And then, for some reason, you changed your Apple account. You're using a new one, but the code is the same, right? So you have to use the same Apple account credentials as you were using a year ago, okay? So that's why a lot of people are unable to change when they get to this screen, okay? So past that, now that we know what to do, we have our final exception, which is, Daniel, I don't have forgot passcode. It's simply not here, it's blank, it's gone. And guys, if you have that option, it's probably because your iPhone is actually managed by somebody else, either an organization, or it's in a group. So if that's the case, you will need to actually ask your guardian, your parent, your grandfather, grandmother, the person who manages your family account to actually go ahead here and change it for you. And how will they do that? Okay, so you have to get the manager of the family account iPhone, okay, as you have it right here. You have to get to this exact same screen, screen time, and then you have to ask them to scroll down, tap on your name, okay, 
Or, of course, if you're doing this for your child, you tap on the name of the child you want to replace the forgotten passcode. Okay, so tap on it and then scroll down. And then right here you have screen time management. Tap on it. And right here you have change screen time passcode. So just to be very, very clear, if you want to change it for your personal device, okay, you are an adult and you're doing this for a personal device, you go straight ahead to this option and change it. If you're changing for a child within a family group, you tap on that person's name, scroll down, screen time management, and then change screen time passcode, and then it's the exact same thing, all right? So that's literally it, all scenarios, super universal video and updated on how you can reset a forgotten screen time passcode on an iPhone. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.